Hey everybody, welcome to Moment a Minute. I'm Mo O'Brien. Last week I told you that the book that I had written and the children watched had gone to publication and your response was terrific. Many of you asked if I could actually show the book, the copy of the book, and read it so that you could see the illustrations that Maya Kamenova had done. Maya is a student at Carnegie Mellon University in Pittsburgh and truly what she was able to create in this book is phenomenal. So I'm going to read it to you. I do hope that you'll recall that all of the proceeds beyond producing this book are going to go to the First Responders Children's Fund. And honestly, this is a labor of love to all of the heroes and sheroes who have carried us and continue to carry us through this pandemic. I hope you'll consider buying the book. It's available on www.globalwlfasinfrank.com. Let's take a look. Now, when your book comes to you, it will not come with these clips on it. It will be a hardbound book and it will, it will be absolutely beautiful. I think you'll appreciate having it, not only for yourself, but for your children, to read to their children as a reminder of what it was like to go through this pandemic. Let's take a look. And the children watched. This book is dedicated to my grandchildren, Amy, Colin, and John, and to all of the heroes and sheroes that gave of themselves so lovingly during the COVID-19 pandemic. Once upon a time, in the year of the Great Pause, the world became sick, and its people became sick, and the children watched. And in the sickness, heroes and sheroes began to emerge. They were brave beyond comparison, because all they wanted to do was to help and to heal the world. And the children watched. The children saw their teachers on screens and they missed them desperately. The elders could not see their families or celebrate birthdays or hug. And the children watched. Powerful people showed up on every screen. They pointed fingers at each other and they tweeted. Yet people were still dying. People were afraid. Many people prayed. And the children watched. Leaders told employees to work from home. And moms and dads and aunts and uncles and sisters and brothers and dogs and maybe cats now had more time with each other in the same house. The thing they had longed for was now their gift and the children watched. Then the restless started chanting. They shook their fists. They proclaimed they had a right and they had a choice. They would not stay inside. And the heroes and sheroes began to weep. Was their good work forsaken? No one denied that these were difficult times, different times, unprecedented times. The heroes and sheroes continued to work to hold up the world and to heal the sick. And the children watched. The children, once grown, told their own children the stories of their experience of the year of the Great Pause. And when they did, they wept. They remembered the heroes and sheroes who were willing to help the sick and to heal the world. And all of this happened while the children watched. These were in our challenging times. What will the stories be of you as the children watch? Will they see that you did everything you could do to help and to heal? Will they say you were angry, afraid, pointing fingers? History and the children will recall the people that we have been in these times. Who will the children say you have been 
as they watch. You know, I think all of us have an opportunity to create some good in the world. All of us can do something. Thank you for helping me do my thing to bring some light to the world. In the meantime, be well, stay well.